Welcome to Toy Hole Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. Please like and subscribe. I put up painting demos and studio tours. And please check out my intro video. Two minutes, you can find out all about me, where I've been, where I'm going, what my goals are. Last time, I did another what I call Kendall Letters. Very creative typography. Real pleased with how it turned out. If you notice, I built up the paint quite a bit. I'm just um, not a water media person. I did have some areas where there was wet and wet, the paint uh, flowing around. I thought, uh, really not, I, even though I am well versed in how to do it, I am an oil painting and like a friend of mine said, you know, it's like a marriage. You really just kind of end up with one and that is your main thing, even though I am well versed in pastels, oil pastels, watercolors, acrylics, but mainly it's oil. And I, my last YouTube was, oh yeah that, yeah, that was the one before. This is actually my last YouTube where I was talking about the sale of, print sale of Hawkart and how um, that got me into looking at my collection of heart paintings. And I've got a, a number of very, very creative ones. And I thought, oh, I think I'd rather do that today. I might do another letter one another time. But I thought I might do an actual wet and wet. This time I've got watercolor paper. You not, might not be able to see it, but there's like little ridges in it that is the rag content of the paper, so it can hold a lot of water. And as I always say, I'm real experimental with these YouTubes. This is going to be super experimental because it's not really my thing, but I wanted to do it. I've noticed I do better with really cheap paper on this stuff, so this might not turn out that well. But I'm going to see. Hope I'll have something that I want to put in my portfolio. I'm just going to do like sections of it. And I've got the heart so dark that it's not going to go anywhere. So you got to get the, the paint very, very wet. You just got to get it swimming. And then it will move around into the water as it sinks into the paper. And you never know what's going to happen until it stops drying. That's the real wonderful experimental thing about this technique. And there are other techniques. The three main ones are wet and wet, or bleeding, whatever you want to call it, and dry brush and flat wash. And I was thinking I'll probably go back into this with some flat washes. That's where you cover the paint with, again, very, very thin paint and let the paper shine through, or another color, and you get a very flat area. Okay, that's probably all it's going to do before it just starts drying. I had some red in there, it went completely away. Alright, I'll put some more water over this side. Get another color going. So far it's just kind of moving around, not doing what I really like. But can always completely change it. And of course, uh, where you, how you hold the paper makes a difference too, because it's going to go in one direction. So a lot of, I, I don't, I've got this on this board on my easel, so I can't really do that. But uh, what a lot of watercolors do is they let it, they turn the, the board that it's on so that they can control it. I think I'm using too much water to get what I like. I was hoping to get more going on. But it is definitely wet and wet. It's definitely moving around. It's amazing I had some red there. It's completely gone. So far, can't say I like this at all. But I can always go back into it when it dries with some flat washes, but it's um, not real interesting to me right now. Can I use some stronger colors? That'll make me happier. I'm really into strong colors. And oh, I like that. That's helping it.
it really is a, a very fascinating technique and you can imagine that if you were really trying to control this like in a sky or something you don't really know what you're doing watercolors is considered by many people the most difficult medium i don't think so but uh, that's just me i really think oils are the hardest maybe it's because i'm a little painter i don't know okay it's getting a lot more interesting now i like with that with that drip that's kind of cool And hopefully this one is not going to be as long as some of the others. Might be a simpler effect. I have a feeling I'm going to be building this up. I'm just <laughs> not really too happy with what's happening. I've already added more paint or flat washes or, or something to make it more interesting to me. As I always say, I really like very complicated effects. I'm not real crazy about this. should have my hair dryer. Then I could go back into it. If I keep going back into it now, it's going to get kind of muddy. I'm not sure what to do with it. It's only been six minutes. I guess I could just do a little more with the wet and wet since it's not dry yet. See if I can get some more interesting things going. More contrast. Uh. Well, yeah, I'm just going to get muddy. All right, I'm not doing so well with this. Oh, that's not too muddy. It is getting some contrast around the heart. It's just that I do think that if I do too much, it's going to um, just uh, turn into mud. It's still bleeding around a little bit, but uh, it's, it's going to dry, and then I'm not going to be able to do anything. I don't know. It's always the chance I take doing this on YouTube and <laughs> really not doing something that I'm familiar with, which is fun and difficult at the same time. I have done watercolors. In fact, I've been commissioned to do some, and they turned out good. But um, just kind of playing around with it, I'm not doing it nearly as well as I thought I would be. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm just going to get it too muddy if I keep at this. I don't know. I'll just do a little bit more and just have this a real short one today and then don't have time to go back into it today either. So this may just be what I've got and then maybe it'll be one of my stages of my art painting. I do have that also where I've had the first stage and then have later stages until I get to the final one. That might be what I do. It's starting to get kind of nice now though. I must admit it's starting to get a whole lot better. Um, I'm kind of doing just very, very delicate wet and wet. You know, just making some accents. So this might be what I end up with. Not moving around so much. But I'm getting a lot more, um, more color contrast. I don't know. <laughs> well... It's going to be a while before I do this again, or if I do it again, I'm going to use the cheap paper. For some reason, I can do a whole lot more with the real cheap paper with water media than the good paper, which is kind of strange. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. The link to the painting will be at the top of the description. It might be this. It might be changed around a lot. Link to my Etsy site. Link to my Wix website. Please check there. I am blogging there every day.